Hey everyone, I thought I would show the differences between the old battery backup air pump and the new one and show how loud it is. And so you can see right now I'm talking and it's 75, right? Now I'm going to let it go for a second so you can hear what the fish room average noise is, which I run a pretty quiet room. And uh, you can see here I've got sound deadening panels and all of that kind of stuff. So it's a little echoey in here, but not loud by any means. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the silence. So you can see it's somewhere around 46.3 or so, and the, the smallest sounds will alter that. So even just that little sound will do it. So very sensitive meter, that's by DB. And one of the hardest part is, you know, you'll buy a dishwasher or something and it'll say it's this many DB or you buy other stuff and it's quieter than a dishwasher. Well, some dishwashers are super loud. I'm gonna tell you this pump's pretty darn quiet. Now you could be one of those people that hear a different frequency or are just crazy sensitive, that's on you. But, so right now we've got it plugged in. It's charging, that's why we see there. The differences between the old model and new model. So old model uh, had great reviews and everything, but we didn't like the manufacturer. Working with them was not fun. So we switched to a new manufacturer. We've built something very, very similar. You can see like, oh, that design right there is slightly different than this one. Yep. Uh, we went from micro USB to USB type C. And as you saw there, when I unplugged it, it acted like it lost power, turned on. So it's actually running right now. Uh, let me go ahead and plug this back in because it matters. There we go, we're plugged back in. Because they run slightly, just slightly more powerful with the power plugged in. You wouldn't know it unless you've spent your last, you know, eight months of your life testing this thing and trying to get it as good as possible. Um, so we've got it hooked up to an air stone that's not even in water. It would run a little bit quieter if we did that as well. So that just flops on the ground, as you can see. My meter turned off because I've been here for a little bit. So this is it, the sound it's going to be at while running. It's not much higher at all than the average room sound. So no, if you look at it and go, hey, it didn't change. No, no, it's on. So let me stop talking. Now, things I want to point out. This is the torture test. This is on a, uh, a table that can move, and it's vibrating on the same thing. I wanted to get kind of the worst case scenario. It's six inches from the pump, and on something that if this vibrated out of control, like in a cabinet, or you just had somewhere that was super rattly, you know, we, we've designed it as best we can to prevent that. Like if you put it, so we've got these rubber feet, right? These rubber feet help dampen. Now, if I set it on its side, where there's no rubber feet, you're gonna see that it, it vibrates a little more. You might even be able to hear it. So we're at 56. Obviously, when it's used how it's supposed to. Now, another feature we added to this that didn't exist on the old one is you can adjust how powerful it is. So that's what this up and down arrow is. How much air do you want to come out of it? Right now it's full power. We're at one power now doesn't really run any quieter or anything, like slightly, but not much. And you can go five different levels. So that might make it a little bit easier when you're trying to dial in your sponge filter to be the exact one you want. If you'd never seen this pump before, one of the great features is, yes, when, you, when I disconnected it, it still ran. It'll run for six hours if you do nothing. So if you're not at home, you're on vacation, you know, you're going to stay at a friend's house, whatever it is, it will continue to run for six hours. You know, that's, that's pretty good. It's about as good as we can do. Um, and keep the price point cheap. But there's another feature. If you're at home, power is out and you're at home, use power saver mode. You can hit the button again. Now it's in power saver mode by the blue button. And it's gonna run for about 15 seconds. Then it's gonna shut off for 15 seconds. Then it's gonna turn on for 15 seconds. That's gonna get you 12 hours. Now, you can always plug this in because if we go to the other end here where I'm plugged in with the, the box and everything, 
you can always plug this in. I've got it plugged into a wall like you would if you were running it in your home aquarium, but now the power's out, we're in a crisis scenario. You take this and you plug it into a battery backup or your laptop or whatever it's gonna be, right? And now you've got it, you know, still running in power save mode. You can even disconnect this if you want. So you can take this if you're buying fish or delivering fish to a friend or a store. Uh, if you're going to collect fish out in the wild, lots of uses for it, obviously. And I uh, just wanted to give you guys, you know, at, at 25 bucks, in my opinion, this is the best air pump on the market. A lot of people have been asking how quiet is it. I'm trying to answer that with, it, it won't help if I just say it's quiet. Like it is quiet, but some people are really picky and want to know the decibels it's going to do and they've got a more keen ear than the average person maybe. And so I wanted to make sure everybody could see that in real life tests in about the worst scenarios I could make it. If your house is already loud, you definitely can't hear it, but it is slightly quieter in this room than it is with this running. And I can show that by, again, So 40, it's hard to talk and, and do it, but like 46.5 or eight. I meant 47. So let's call it 47, 48. If I turn this bad boy off, and a half. So it's, it's like one decibel higher than my average room. And again, it's it's not crazy loud in here. It's not, I mean, it's pretty quiet because it's I film in here and it's designed to do it this way. We do have some some heaters going and we do have things like I put the dehumidifiers and stuff like that up in the ceiling. Like it, it's pretty controlled and quiet in here. And so if it's barely louder than that, the average person's home, you're not gonna notice it. That being said, if it's on your nightstand right next to where you sleep, maybe you're going to hear it because maybe you got the world's quietest bedroom. Um, but there's always trade-offs, right? And keeping the price affordable, making it battery backup, being able to adjust the power, all of those things were much more important than getting slightly, slightly quieter. Um, and, you know, we just wanted to make sure that it was pretty darn quiet.